tell Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto to stop acting as if everything is okay. Those are the words of former presidential candidate Professor James Ole Kiyapi. Kiyapi says it is an insult and a betrayal to all Kenyans for the top two leaders to brag to Kenyans what they will rule, that they will rule until 2032, whereas so many things are going wrong in the economic and security sectors. He spoke exclusively to our political affairs reporter, Duncan Heimber. <laughs> In 2012 April, Professor James Legileshu Olekiapi made history when he quit his public service job to run for the presidency in Kenya. Though his political dream did not come true on 4th March 2013 when Kenyans went to the ballot. I expect, expected that Kenyans were going to do some introspection. They are going to really do some serious reflections and say, Okay, now we have this new beginning. These are the leaders that are presenting themselves. Let's do something different. Unfortunately, Kenyans did exactly what they have been doing since 1963. They allowed again the tribal factor, which perpetually is hurting this country, to decide and to inform the decision of 2013. Kiapi, who after the election went back to lecturing at the University of Eldoret, gives credit to the Jubilee administration for implementing the Grand Coalition Government's standard gauge railway project, despite numerous hitches. We can definitely say that there has been an improvement in security. Corruption has been a disaster, and it remains a major challenge to this government. In his opinion, unemployment and national cohesion remain a major threat to Kenya as a nation. To finish that, just make everybody feel like they are in. Is that too hard to do? You can do arithmetic. If somebody, if one community doesn't get, if one gets a permanent uh, cabinet secretary, another gets permanent secretary, if another gets ambassador, another gets a head of parastate, spread it across. Let everybody feel good. It doesn't matter who voted you. When you're president, you become the president, the president of Kenya. And, and so you, they can't come in and then they start, you know, doing skewed appointments, favoring a very small clique of people. And then they want everybody to clap and say hallelujah, we're doing well. And then now they, they keep talking about this JAP party, you know, we want to unite everybody. How do you unite everybody? People are angry. According to the professor, all stakeholders, both within and outside government, should collectively champion for patriotism if the sense and pride of national unity is to be achieved. They are more concerned about their image than about the work that we have given them. You hear them talking and they are talking about how they want to be in power until 2032 rather than telling us where Kenya will be in 2030. I mean, that's very interesting. That's not how we want it to, to be. We want leaders to worry about, we have given them, the Kenyans have given them a mandate for five years. They needed to work hard or at least show that they have done their best for the five years. And then now after that they say, Kenyans, this is what we have done. We are asking for you to continue and trusting us with this responsibility. But you cannot be here and before you finish what you are supposed to do, you are already plotting about what you will do 2017, what you will do 2022, what you will do. I mean, you can even rule the country for 100 years if you, you, know, if you want. But if that 100 years is just about yourself, it's a waste of time. The country will continue going round. So will he be throwing his heart in the ring again come August 2017? You, you know that I'm not normally a man who hints things. When I want to say them, I just say them. I'm not saying them now because I'm consulting. I'm doing very serious consultation. And I'm putting all the options on the table. Because, uh, as I told you, I'm more concerned about the outcome of 2017 than whether or not I'm in the race. Some Kenyans we spoke to have divergent opinions. Maybe in the future, but not now. Kiyapi at least, Narok governor, I think they, they can consider. I'm not going to run for governor of Narok or any governor for that matter. Political analysts suggest that the professor 
needs to entrench himself first in Kenyan politics before swinging back into action. Probability as we sit today, the sad reality is number one, so if you become a president, you must have a tribal chief. There are, when you go to the table, you can say, I bring this uh, number of votes to the table, and then you have the financial resources. Here he says he will make his decision by August this year, exactly a year to the 2017 general election. Duncan Hamba, KTN News.